I think my advice to students entering theology would be to remember my own experience of that. When I went to Cambridge to read theology, and I had a Christian faith, um, believing parents, a Christian father and mother, uh, who I knew loved me and, and did not want me to lose my faith. Uh, and I think as I worked my way through the theological issues and questions that obviously are, arise within that program, I had that center sense of an anchor. Um, I remember at the end of my theological studies, after you know three years in Cambridge, thinking to myself, well, it may be that I now know more theology than my father, but I don't know God more than my father. Uh, and if theology takes you away from knowing God, loving God, being committed to serving God, then I would say get out. <laughs> because uh, theology is meant to lead us into the worship of God and into a greater understanding and therefore service of God. So that I think would be my first thing is um, know your faith, know what you believe and why you believe it. And then on the basis of that foundation, be prepared to think and even to take risks in thinking, uh, and to have perhaps a vulnerability to difficult questions. The same kind of vulnerability that our bodies have, because if one can put it like this, there is a certain class of animals in the world which are crustaceans, who have all their shell on the outside, but they're pretty much mush on the inside. So if the shell gets broken, that's it. There's others, that are vertebrates, like us as human beings, and we have a backbone inside which is strong and resilient and solid. And because of that, we are able to be softer on the outside. There can be a, a, an openness to the world of vulnerability, to be cut and to bleed, uh, but also to embrace and to love. And I think there's something of that in theological study, that one needs to get the essentials clear in terms of our commitment to God, to God's word, to the Lord Jesus Christ, to the mission of God and God's people. And when those things are clear, then we can have an inquiring, thinking, open, generous mind towards a whole range of other ways of thinking and doing theology, which may not feel comfortable at first, but which may have something to teach us, provided we then bring it into a, a structure of understanding which we know is clearly in itself biblical and in submission to the Lordship of Christ. I think the final piece of advice I'd give to any theological student, especially after graduation and moving out, is stay humble. Because when the Apostle Paul says that knowledge can puff up, he could have been talking about theology. Uh, because there can be a temptation uh, when you've done all the study and read all the books and been to all the lectures and got the graduation, that somehow, you know, I know better than the ordinary people in the pew. And so we need to stay humble, we need to stay faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ and receive our theological education as a gift from God, as an opportunity and a privilege, but needs to be handled responsibly and maturely. Mm -hmm.